Hi guys, Crystal Bonnet here, your independent Scentsy consultant at fullmoonwaxcraft.com. Happy August. And August in Scentsy land is fall. And I know a lot of people are not ready for that yet. Where we're at in the Pacific Northwest, it's like 90 degrees and it definitely does not feel like fall. But if you know me at all, you know I love fall. I wait all year for it. And so I'm super excited for all of these new scents and all the new decor that is coming. Um, so we our uh, fall catalog just launched August 1st, so everything that is in there is already available, but we have a bunch of limited time offers that are also launching this month, so stay tuned for those. But I just wanted to show you guys the new fall catalog, just a peek at it, and talk about the 10 new scents that are in there. We have a lot of returning favorites as well, like Cider Mill and Autumn Road Trip, Apples and Cinnamon Sticks. We have 10 new scents that I'm super excited about. Um, I also am going to show you the August scent of the month. We don't have a warmer of the month this month for like the first time, I think, ever. Um, there was an issue with getting some of the um, components that they needed to make this one, and so they just canceled it instead of making something different, which, you know, especially with how shipments and stuff are, with uh, all the chaos and stuff from COVID, it was just easier for them to scrap the whole August warmer. So we don't have that, but we do have a, a scent of the month that is 10% off this month, so I will share that with you as well. So let's start out, I'm going to show you this catalog, and I think it's my favorite one yet. I know I say that probably every time, but I really, really love this one. I even really like the style of the front of it. That's like totally my kind of vibe. I love fall. I love the cozy kind of feeling it gives. And so for me, I'm like ready to decorate now. <laughs> um, but I just thought it was super cute front of it. Um, and we have so much new stuff in here. We have an entirely new product. Um, instead of if you've ever used our travel tins, we do not have those any longer. We now have something called travel twist, which let me show you. That is a travel twist. And so you can control the amount of fragrance in there by twisting it. And then it lasts about 30 days. It's perfect like for taking with you on road trips or to a hotel, um, putting in your car, um, putting in your closet. It's great for anything kind of to go. And you can also throw it in like a gym bag, diaper bag, that kind of thing. So that is really cool. And it comes in like I think six or seven different scents. So um, those are right here. Uh, which you're not really going to be able to see, I don't think. It doesn't want to focus. Of course. Ah, well, I'll just read them to you. Uh, Amazon Rain, Black Raspberry Vanilla, Cinnamon Bear, Clean Breeze, Cozy Cardigan, Luna, and Vanilla Bean Buttercream. So those are super fun, super portable um, way to bring fragrance with you. So those are new in our catalog. We have a ton of new warmers. We have some really, really beautiful ones. Um, if you are on my VIP page, you will know I've been sharing. I love this one. I think it's so beautiful. Um, you know, I've been sharing tons and tons of pics of these new warmers. And there are some really, really pretty ones, I think, um, this season. And let me find mine here. There's also many warmers that are... Uh, new as well but let me find my favorite one of this season oh these are beautiful too i actually really love these those are not the ones i was looking for but they're so pretty um it is it's here oh look at these these are beautiful as well i love this new mini warmer here it's really pretty but these are uh catalogs are available if you want to message me um i can also send you a digital link that's the one i was looking for isn't that so pretty super hard to see it on here um it is beautiful it's called aziza and these are uh, more than 5,000 pinholes that create this kind of like a moroccan style design on it it's super pretty i think that would look so nice in your fall decor so we have lots of new warmers full size and mini we have tons and tons of new scents uh, we have new scents in things like fragrance flowers pods we have uh, new kids products one of the cutest ones i think is the new winnie the pooh wall fan diffuser this takes pods, so it's a great way to add fragrance to a space if you're worried about wax spills. Uh, and the pods are it comes in tons of different scents, but there is a Winnie the Pooh one called 100 Acre Wood that I really, really love. Uh, but isn't he super cute? This would be great in like a kid's room, a playroom, in a hallway, anywhere you're worried about a wax spill if it gets bumped. So definitely check out the new catalog. We have tons of new product in there. I can send you a digital copy as well. Um, which is a lot of people like to just shop that way. But if you would like a physical copy, let me know and I can ship you one as well. So definitely check that out. And let me tell you about the 10 new scents we have. So let me find the page here so I can read them to you so I get all the um, scent notes, right? Okay, so these are all available as wax bars, room sprays, and scent circles. 
So I'll just grab them at random and we can kind of sniff them together. So this one's called Falling Apples. Oh gosh, this one's not gonna, because of the lighting, I don't think it wants to kind of um, focus in, but Falling Apples, take a stroll through an orchard lined with crisp apple, acorn, and oak. And I love apple scents. It's one of my first things I like to warm in the fall. Uh, my hair's going crazy here. Um, warm in the fall, like especially if I'm not quite ready for like, you know, the really spicy kind of pumpkin-y scents, which most of the time I am really ready for. <laughs> um, but sometimes like at the beginning transition, like August and September, I like to warm um, an apple scent. And this one is nice because I feel like you can pick up on that acorn and oak. It kind of gives it this little bit more of a depth. Unlike like Johnny Appleseed, which is also available in this catalog, Johnny Appleseed smells like you just took a bite out of a crisp, fresh apple. This one has more of that kind of woodsy warmth to it, which is really nice. Kind of gives you a, another kind of element to it, kind of um, deepens that scent. I really like this one a lot, and I definitely would warm it for sure. That one is Falling Apples. And the next one is Cran Apple Crumble. It's really pretty kind of a pink. Again, you can't see because of this lighting but it's like a pink kind of color cran apple crumble baked cran apple topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream so for your bakery kind of scent fans that's what this is you can definitely smell like that brown sugar kind of in there it's warmer it's like i would warm this one actually and you know i'm not a super big bakery fan but it kind of reminds me along the lines of the scents that i do like in the bakery like baked apple pie or like um, red, white, and, and berry pie that we had as the scent of the month. I could see myself warming this one. This would be a really nice one during like Thanksgiving time as well. It's a very foody kind of bakery scent. It's nice. I like it. I'm not a super big fan of bakery though. It's a little on the sweet side probably for me. Next is Sips of Cider. And I was like super looking forward to this one. Um, and it's like a really nice pumpkin-y kind of orange, which I love. Lively blood orange steeped with sparkling ginger and cinnamon stick. So you can smell a little bit of that ginger in there. It kind of reminds me of a tea that I like to drink. Um, and it's like, it's kind of like a little bit spicy. It's nice. And that blood orange, what I like about blood orange is it doesn't have that really tart kind of orange scent to it. It's more of a, a mellower kind of more like well-rounded orange. I like it. I'm excited to actually to warm this one. I think this will be a really nice one. Again, this time of year where you're kind of transitioning into fall, this is gonna be a nice one. I like that it has that ginger in there. It's a little bit of like a kick to it. That's nice. Next is Velvet Moon. And I didn't, like from the description, when I first read this description, I was like, I don't know about that one. Um, Velvet Moon, soft vanilla flower and white musk glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. And... I love it. If you're a fan of scents like Cozy Cardigan um, or any of the scent, like the muskier scents, like the cashmere ones that we had, um, cashmere and corduroy, that is what it reminds me of. It would be a perfect one for like a bedroom scent, it's soft, cozy. I'm really excited to warm this one. I could definitely see myself using this regularly, like through the winter, fall and winter, um, as like a, a bedroom sort of scent. I really like it a lot. It has like, I don't know what the foggy mist element is in there, but it has that coziness of it. And I really like it. Next is white amber and silk. And it was, this was another one I was like, I don't know. And I really like it. White amber and silk, warm amber and bergamot are wrapped up in comforting cotton for a smooth finish. Now I tend to love things that have amber in it. It has like a warmth to it. And usually it like sticks around for a while and I like that. Um, and I, But I wasn't sure about if I was gonna like that with bergamot and cotton and I love it. It's a very different kind of scent and I, it reminds me of something and I can't quite place what it is. I think this would be really nice in like a lotion or a body wash kind of scent. It's really, really, it would be another one that would be great I think in the bedroom and you can smell that amber but it has this like, I don't even know how to explain it. It has this like cozy layer to it. It's not so deep that it's like um, too of a base scent. It's got this nice, cozy, comforting. It like doesn't necessarily say fall to me. It just says cozy. So if you're not a super big fan of like fall scents, this might be one that you'll like. I thought it might have like a manly aspect to it. It doesn't. It doesn't have any sort of that scent to it. 
So perfect day. Autumn pear mixed with spiced syrup and spirited splash of bourbon. That's kind of hard to say. <laughs> it's a nice bright green kind of color. And I love, I love pear scents and I love spiced pear scents, but this one is an odd one to me. I'm like, definitely will have to warm it. And I thought from the description, I would love it. But now that I smell it cold, I don't, I don't love it. But it's funny because a lot of people that have smelled these have said that that's like one of their top favorites. So you know me, I have to be different. <laughs> but it has like this, so you can smell, I don't smell pear necessarily, but I don't smell bourbon either. It's like almost reminds me of like fresh, like a green grass sort of scent to it, which I do tend to like. I like the green scents. So it definitely will be different. I'll have to warm it to see if it's something that I like. I don't smell... I don't smell the bourbon in there. So maybe once it's warmed, it'll kind of release like more of a, a warm note. If you are a f not a fan of uh, fall and winter scents, you're not a fan of things like pumpkin and apple and cinnamon and things like that, this might be more of your speed because it is more of like a bright kind of green scent. Okay, frosted vanilla. Love, love this one. A wonderland of sweet vanilla bean and birch bark with a rush of frosty air. Love, love it. So I am a huge fan. You guys know I love vanilla mint. I love the Olaf um, bar, warm hugs. And it kind of has that element, but you can smell that birch bark. It kind of gives it this like woodsy sort of scent. It's like walking through the woods in like with cold air. It is such a good scent. I love it. So this will definitely be one, one that I will warm a lot during the winter time, but it, that added like sweet vanilla really like balances it out. So it's not too sharp. I'm not a fan of like straight peppermint scents or just straight minty kind of scents. And that birch bark is more, it's more of like a wintergreen kind of scent rather than a sharp peppermint. It's really, really good. This is one of my top favorites from this 10. Okay. Huckleberry Hideaway. I wish you guys could see these better. Really pretty purple. I love purple. Um, fresh picked huckleberry, mountain violet, and crisp white woods create the perfect retreat. I love this one. It has a true blueberry or huckleberry scent to it. And it reminds me, you know, I live in the Pacific Northwest. We hike a lot. And it reminds me of like picking huckleberries like when we're hiking. That's what we snack on while we're hiking. And it's so good. I'm excited to warm this one as well. Kind of has a little bit of that tartness that huckleberry has and I think it's really really beautiful you smell that first the violet is in there you can kind of catch that and it kind of sweetens it just a tiny bit and it has that crisp white woods which has this like little like like it's like walking in the it's like hiking and eating huckleberries it has that so like that total vibe to it I really like it so I'm excited this one is like definitely on my top list I, I love all of these. I was surprised. There was a, I wasn't looking forward to a lot of these scents and they like really surprised me. I think they did a really good job this time um, creating like a really complex um, like assortment. It's not all the same scents. Like I, you know, like that's the thing about fall is everybody says fall. They think pumpkin spice, you know, they think like all of these really spicy pumpkin-y scents. And what's nice is I think they did like a really good job of making more sophisticated scents. Um, and really like giving a cozy vibe without it being so like stereotypical pumpkin, you know, which I love pumpkin, but it's nice to have an alternative. Black currant and plum. This is so good. This reminds me a long time ago when I was still able to use like Bath and Body Works and things like that. Um, Yankee candles. My sister would always buy me candles. And this reminds me of one that I really, really loved. But then they started giving me migraines and I couldn't use them anymore. So I am excited to try this one because I think it has that same scent like profile to it. It's really, really good. So black currant and plum, dark plum and wild black currant emboldened sweet apple for a temptation you won't want to resist. It's so good. It's such a deep scent. Like like it reminds me of like the mulberry type candles um, that you get, like the really dark ones you get this time of year. It's really good. It has almost this tiny bit of a, like a perfume quality to it, which really I think adds to it. Normally that's like a no-go for me, especially with migraines, but it really adds to this one because it's so deep. I think it's really good. This is a really good, like a really, smells really, you know, fancy, smells expensive. And then blackberry spice is our last one. 
ripe blackberry bundled up with cedar wood and fresh clove. And also blackberry is usually like a hit and miss for me too. Like, and this one's really, really good. I think they did a really good job of getting that sweetness of blackberry with the spice. That's really good. The clove, I think, was a good choice instead of cinnamon in this one. It kind of gives us like this sharpness to it. It's really good. And you can catch that cedar wood in there. They did a really nice job with this one. This one would be more like a woodsy kind of feel of a scent to it. It's good. I like that it's like multi-layered. You can really smell all of those in here, which is nice. This is a really good one. I will definitely warm that one a lot. I think it would be really hard for me to pick which one I really love the most. But I think of everything, it's that black currant and plum. It's hard because they're all so different. And I feel like I would warm all of these. But they are super, super good. And I highly recommend you try all of them out. Um, if you message me, I do have a deal going on right now for all 10 of these scents. So let me know. Um, and then, so that is the 10 new scents. We have tons and tons of things returning, you know, of, from our holiday collection. Things like Be Merry, um, Very Snowy Spruce, Perfect Peppermint, Polar Bear Hugs, you know, all the typical ones. Plus all the great fall scents like Apple and Cinnamon Sticks, Maple Apple Bourbon, Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. We have so many good ones. And we also brought back one of my favorites, which is Scary Good. And if you guys like, like a, I love those pumpkin bars that you get. Like you can get them from like Starbucks. And that is what it reminds me of. And it is so good. So let me know if you have any questions about any of these scents or any of the um, new products from the new catalog. Or if you'd like a catalog or would like me to send you a digital copy, let me know. And I will be happy to help you. And then I just wanted to talk on the um, uh, scent of the month real quick. And this month it is Glacier Water, which is a really, really nice scent. It is very, very like clean and fresh. Um, if you're a fan of things like Atlantic Air or By the Sea, I think that you would like this one. It says, Glacier Water rushes into a mountain stream, peacefully flowing over bright bergamot, aquatic lavender, and driftwood. And it is very like fresh and clean. I like it. It almost has a little bit of like a, a manly cologne kind of quality to it, which is not a bad thing. Sometimes that can be too much for me. Like I said, I don't do perfumey type stuff a lot because of my migraines. But this one is clean enough that it has like that aquatic like ocean or water kind of scent to it. And I love lavender and you can just barely smell the lavender in there. And it smells more, more like just clean that kind of oceany sort of scent it's really good this would be a nice one for pretty much anybody it would be great for you know if you have like a a young guy or um if you like clean scents you're not a fan of bakery you're not a fan of spicy you're just looking for like a real fresh clean scent like you just cleaned your house this one is really really good so definitely check that out it's 10 percent off all through august it's available in a wax bar room spray and a scent circle and those are all 10 percent off so if you have any questions about that, let me know. I would be happy to help you. And I hope you guys are having a great summer and I will talk to you later.